Although the show was delayed, this did not dismay those in attendance, with some saying they will wait because it's for a good cause. <laughs> They danced to the tunes of Fura and made exclamations to his known jargons that he used to make during his performances. My dancer was started by that guy, that's what I remember, Furas, the Stanleys and everything. And it's really a loss for us. It's a great loss, but we are going to celebrate his life, we are going to enjoy. Somebody that will be remembered as a king. Somebody that will be remembered as somebody that has started and contributed towards Makaiza music for what it is today. Having, you know, upcoming artists that has that's been successful in what they do in the grounds that, they, that they've traded for, which has, uh, that, that has been created by Fura himself. Um, Fura has been a great loss to this industry. This was not a sad moment, but a celebration of Duve's life and the contribution he made towards the music industry. I'm not seeing many people crying. It's rather a celebration of a life well, well lived with all its pains and joy and everything. It's really a celebration and that's how I see it and that's what I want to take home tonight when I go to sleep. I want to go knowing that we didn't just lose a life but we are given an opportunity to celebrate this life. Me personally, I got to meet him through his music and I think what, the, what he has done for the Magdeza genre is that he has taken over making it modern and then making it ours. So I think it's just something that is just going worldwide. It's like a felt fire that is, that is burning. So I think it is just something that the Namibians will embrace and then cherish for as long as we live. He respected me so much. If I say something, he will enter and say something, laugh about it, and tears will be running from his face. Fura was a people's person. Duve died last week Thursday and will be buried on the 11th of May in Korihaz. Selima Henok, NBC News, Vantuk.